right, let's do this. Time to feed these hungry gamers. They want news and they want it now. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Time to feed these hungry gamers. Yeah, gotta feed them. Give them news. They want it now. <laughs> Hello, people. Good mornings. Another beautiful day. Yeah. Hope your five senses work. Health and strength is good. We're excellent. What? Let me stop playing here. So up for the Oh, <clears throat> what I got for you guys? What's up, Steam Deck fans? Steam Deck Tribe, Steam Deck Nation, Steam Deck Universe, Steam Deck World, Steam Deck Legion, what's good? Steam Deck Mob, what's that? The Steam Deck Squad, what's up? And you Steam Deck nerds, geeks, and freaks, and you investigators, what's happening? What's up, Xbox fans? PlayStation fans, what's happening? <laughs> Tendo fans. Alright, what I got what I got for you guys anyway. Alright, now. Let's see here. Let, let's let's start it off. Let's start off with this nice little article here, just to get me going. All right, what do we got? Let's see here. Uh, more games and more games at more games adds AMD FSR support with the list more than doubling since 2024 began. Anyway, <laughs> let me stop playing. Look, it says here uh, AMD FSR support uh, has more doubled. In January 2024 alone, and with the momentum finally picking up for the company, answers the DLSS 3 frame generation. It says uh, AMD launches FSR 3 alongside the debut of the Radeon RX 7700 XT and the Radeon RX 7800 XT last year, with support for, for the company frame generation update available in two game at the time, Forspoken and Immortals of Avium. That was back in September 2023, with the next gen games to get FSR support arriving in the first in, arriving in December 2023. It's no secret that FSR adoption heading into 2024 was non existent none was non existent. But it says now it's worth noting that December 2023 uh, saw FSR three arrives in Ubisoft Avatar: Frontier of Pandora. A visual stunning title that also debuted an update and improved vision of FSR technology, uh, showcasing the not, uh, notice, notably uh, better result than that than what was seen in Forspoken and Immortal of Avium. So much, so much so that its plat platform agnostics approach to frame generation much like its approach to super resolution upscaling was embraced by avatar players using radeon rx and geforce rtx cards alike and now as 2024 kicks off with amd launching a brand new gpu in the form of the radeon rx 7600 xd fsr3 support in games is heating up as of writing fsr3 with frame generation is available in nine games so it's not a massive list but five out of nine added fsr support in january 2024 hmm. and what do we got here uh, let's see forespoken that was september 23 um, immortals of avium september uh 2023 avatar frontier of pandora december 2023 like a dragon gaiden uh, the Man Who Erased His Name, December 2023. Motor Club RC, uh, January 2024. Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 and Warzone, January 2024. Farming Simulator, January 2024. The Talos Principle 2, January 2024. And XS10 Cell, January 2024. So it says FSR 3 is still on the cards for big titles alike. Cyberpunk 2077, Starfield. Space Marine 2, Frostpunk, Black Myth, uh, Wukong, Crimson Desert, Desert, Like a Dragon, Infinite Wealth, and more with Avatar showcasing real progress and promise for AMD non-AI approach to frame generation. Support seems to be added to many more titles this year. FSR 3 has a long way to go to catch up to DLS, DLSS 3. But seeing in the mo in the momentum is great. Yeah, 
Uh, there's more games to come, man. Uh, I mean, this is what January 2023, and um, uh, there's more games that's coming down the pipe, down the pipe where FSR 3 and Frame Generation, you know, because if you're using FSR 2, but then with FSR 3 with that Frame Generation, it goes up, you know. So yeah, um, a lot of games that that are coming out um, will be getting that. Plus, I did a video yesterday that talks about DirectX 12 and DirectX 11, you know, getting support for those games. So, yeah, FSR 3 is doing its thing, and this is good news for who? Steam Deck, of course. <laughs> anyway, so, yeah, FSR 3 is growing. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Nice talking to you people again. Chris, still Star Wars and Star Wars 9 for Dark Side. Come on. Peace.